We're live at the Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Plant, Navy, and Ambra State for the unveiling of the latest innovation from IVGEM, which is the Innocent CNG LNG gas truck, bus, and cars. These liquefied natural gas and compressed natural gas vehicles are being launched today, the 20th of April, by the president of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Otumba Francis Meshoye. Here are memorable moments from the event. On the 20th of April, Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing unveiled the Innocent LNG, CNG, gas truck, bus and cars at IBM factory, Navy and Amber State. The founder of IBM, Chief Dr. Innocent Chukuma, referred to the CNG-powered vehicles as an idea whose time has come, adding that the newly launched vehicles were produced to enhance affordable transportation as well as sustainable use of fuels in our environment. Yes, because I have seen that um, normal gas and fuel is very expensive in the country, so we have to find an alternative. We are now doing LNG, CNG, and also we are trying to do electric motor. You understand? So when you are using electric motor, LNG, CNG, I'm just a full shot. Uh, yes, uh, the diesel and fuel is very expensive for, for a common man. So we are thinking that direction. So that the price of uh, a learning vehicle will be cheap so that people can be able to buy more. The durability of this is better than the fuel or diesel. It has been tested. So it's better. Only that our people doesn't know much about it. When they start using it, nobody will go back to fuel and this. So I believe in a short time, everybody will join. I have got so many customers now from Benin. Benin have utilized and see it. So most of the other I have here now is from Benin, showing that the Benin people already understand it. So anybody who wants to know more about it can travel to Benin, uh, um, those state, to find out 80% of vehicle is CNG and the, um, LNG. Benin is the first people that give us attention. Today we commission it, so tomorrow is bright. Africa's first vehicle manufacturing company showcased varieties of CNG and LNG automobiles which are produced at the IVM factory. The liquefied natural gas and compressed natural gas powered vehicles was launched by the president of Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Mr. Otumba Francis Meshoye. The unique features of the innocent LNG CNG gas vehicles, according to the head of corporate communications, IVM, Cornell Osigwe, is its ability to make use of CNG, which is more affordable than diesel and petrol. LNG and CNG powered vehicles in Nigeria is an idea whose time has come. The cost of diesel and petroleum has corrupted so high that the common masses cannot be able to afford that. And the government has developed a, um, a policy of introducing LNG and CNG powered vehicles so that um, Nigerians or vehicle users can be able to convert their vehicles, their petroleum vehicles, petrol powered vehicles and diesel powered vehicles into CNG and LNG powered vehicles, most importantly, CNG powered vehicles. What do we mean by CNG? CNG is compressed natural gas. This is a gas that has been compressed, it uses air, and it's far more cheaper than petrol, that's fuel, as we have it in the market. In the market today, here in Unnewi and Unnewi, a liter of petrol is being sold at um, 350 naira per liter. But for CNG, is less than 150 naira per liter. And also, the combustion rate is very, very high. What, it mean, what, what I mean is that the CNG is highly economical, highly efficient, that a tank full of CNG gas can take you to Lagos and come back. Let me explain it in a layman understanding. It can take you to Lagos, like this particular car now. Let's go to this car now. This car was first manufactured in this factory. We call it IVM Smart. You understand? It's an MPV, a seven-seater vehicle that is uses petrol. Okay. You understand? But based on the government policy, we converted this particular vehicle to a CNG. Okay. It is now using it is now is, um, using CNG gas. Okay. You understand? You can see the tank. So it's the same vehicle with new features. It's the same vehicle with new features. 
you can come and see the tank. You can see the tank. This is where they compress the CNG. Yes. It's basically done. We now convert in this factory okay. um, petrol powered vehicles to uh, compressed natural gas powered vehicles. So after this unveiling, people can now bring in their vehicles. We convert it for them at a very, very um, low amount so that they can now be enjoying their money. Instead of spending so much on, on petrol, you are starting to spend less using a CNG. At the event, the president of Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Mr. Meshire, said that new vehicles represent great advancement in the manufacturing industry and indeed innocent vehicles is the pride of Nigeria and Africa. One of the major things that really catapults any national development is industrial growth, particularly of that manufacturing. Um, manufacturing now have its varieties. Here we are having what we call automobile manufacturing in Nigeria. Uh, this is distinct from even assembly. Uh, what we have come to do and witness today is manufacturing of motor vehicle by innocent uh, vehicle automobile company. Uh, and it's very beautiful. This is, is very innovative. The company is conducting research and uh, they are moving. They are not only manufacturing vehicles of various kind from very small car to truck firefighting equipment and uh, long buses to, that can use diesel, but rather they have evolved to produce vehicles that can use CNG, uh, PNG, and PLG. And the driver has option of switching from CNG to PLG, if they need be. And this is very beautiful because in the first instance, from the formation of gathered, the cost of diesel uh, for any trailer that wants to come from uh, Lagos down to this side could be about 800,000 naira for one journey. But with the CNG, it will cost about um, 80,000 naira yeah. and um, or, or 300,000 naira uh, or with um, another kind, it could be 80,000 and with PM, it could be 20,000 or 40,000 naira. So you have found that whichever way will be saving about 500,000 minimally if you use gas. Now, we do not need to go overseas to import this gas at uh, these vehicles. Locally at Innocin, as we have found now, we can get vehicles that are produced locally that could use all these gases. So one, you'll be saving, if you save 500,000 per trip time multiple vehicles that could ply the road, this one will go elsewhere. And eventually, and right now, we have gas here. And two, it will create employment because the money saved can now go to another investment and creating employment. Then number two, if we shift, uh, if we patronize local manufacturing, and in this instance, locally produce or manufacture motor vehicles, it means we create more job. And, uh, and this is what we need currently. So you want to aggregate the benefit to industrial goals. One, that be job creation, there will be proper usage of funds and finances, and um, there will be empowerment and saving uh, of our youth and saving of forex. So when you look at all these things together, you find that the contribution of the GDP will become higher. And, uh, and apart from that, there's going to be, uh, if you can scale it down to the uh, support value chain, it will create other small businesses that will support the industries. Those who do the repairs, those who do some other jobs, those who do fixed automobile in various ways. So this is very interesting. This is encouraging. What government needs to do is that to concentrate in patronizing it. By the time you start the patronage, it will blow and government will be able to see the direction to go. That's the first thing. Stop importation. Okay, if you do not want, if you don't understand the kind of vehicle it is, most of us travel all the time. Go to the Lagos airport. You will find those vehicles there, which is convenient, a taxi us from Tamak, that to the place we have to the departure point. So, and if you can, if you look at that, you can from there now see that is it really worth patronizing? So, once you find what the patronizing, we do not need to import for the government vehicles. Government needs to come and patronize this kind of industry, and you know, in particular now because it's really half of this one uh, that you can use. Patronizing locally 
produce muchos vehículos. Really boost our economy. On local manufacturing, the chairman of the Southeast Directorate of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Lady Ada Chukudoze, assured manufacturers of improved environments for production as she encourages the IBM brand to keep blazing the trail in car manufacturing. Southeast is very, very ready for this kind of development with the latest uh, devolution of uh, uh, power to the state enabling them now to um, produce power okay, in the state and enabling them to generate power and to uh, produce trains, okay, trail lines. Now we know that in Anambra State, we have a high reservoir of gas and oil. So with what he's doing now, it's a legacy project, he's trailblazing the line and the gas that is in abundance in Anambra State can be applied to his vehicles. So it's very innovative. I can say that he is a pride of manufacturers. He has done so very well. He's manufacturing vehicles. It's not uh, like putting the assembly in it, but manufacturing it. We've gone around and we have seen things for ourselves and we are so proud of him. The IBM factory located at Innocent Industrial Estate, Omodim, Navy, Anambra State, has become recognized as producers of quality vehicles that fit the needs, tastes, and demands of the 21st century. What do you think about today's video? What's your take on Innocent Vehicles as a trailblazer in the car manufacturing sector? Let us know in the comments section. Like and subscribe to this channel for more Igbo-centric content.